Greetings someone, if you're new here, I'm Crow Phoenix Knight, and this is the episode 20 of Knight's Game Journey. In today's episode we are playing Phobos Subhuman in demo version. This is a sci-fi third person shooter set in the futuristic Athena in Greece and on the planet of Mars. Okay. This sounds interesting, so let's find out what this game all about. Thank you for your support, and let's do this. My father was an astronaut, and a dreamer. A man of knowledge and wisdom, who looked at the stars for answers. Until the first mission to Mars, some 20 years ago, he went missing with all his co-travelers. No signs of life. I understand that you're one of our accomplished citizens. I also understand that you are the daughter of one of the astronauts who visited Mars in 2026. Is that information correct, madam? There's no point in keeping silent. Did your father contact you? Is he alive? I have nothing to say to you. Who are you? I still have rights. Rights? I'll tell you about rights. She will talk sooner or later. Lock her up. Who helped me escape? Why did the astronauts disappear? What are these people trying to hide? What was 
were some phobos. What did my father think? It is full of dangers and horrors out of the walls. That's what I keep telling us. My old life, my digitized life is dead. I have to find out the truth and my father, if he's still alive. Here we begin. Guide. Flashlight, PT, infrared, Milo weapon. Okay. Okay. Alright. So, I like the setting so far. This could be very interesting. Okay. You there. Stop. Come here. I'm here. I've had enough of this wretched place. These subhumans, this rotting people, this disgusting world. There is nothing to eat, just corpses, rats, and gangs of killers. Here, take this gun. Why, thank you. May it be of use. You're gonna be okay? I guess. Anyway. This looks like a desert eagle, but the icon here on the right bottom looks like a beretta. <laughs> oh well. Sakya Square. It looks completely different. Yeah. Close the door. Don't come in. Please, close it. They're killers in these man-eaters. These disgusting animals. They can feed on whatever they can find. It's a jungle out here. Uh-huh. You're an insider, aren't you? Close. They'll eat you for breakfast. No, they won't. Oh, look at this. You must be the bad guy. Okay. Uh come on, I wanted to give you a nice headshot. Now I gave you. <laughs> yeah, this give me this giving me some uh Stalker Metro Fallout Cyberpunk vibes. If you know what I mean. What? The Earth is coming to an end. Our human civilization has finally reached its decadence. The sea levels are rising, swallowing us like the failed species we are. Mobile phones, internet life, and vanity. Oh, how much vanity. Uh huh. Zone one. <laughs> yeah, kick it. That did something. See? We are in Athena. Athena? I don't know how to pronounce it. That's it. The store. There must be something here. Yep. Could work on some animation, guys. Are 
I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. A very successful scientist once said that. He was right. Look at us now. Global warming, rising sea levels, the few inside walls, the many out here left to die. Good luck to you, girl. Yeah. I wonder if there's power here. Oh. I now have a passcode? I shall search for one. This hidden history of humanity by Madam. So, it was a book. Albert Einstein? Nikola Tesla? <laughs> How neat. Some philosopher from ancient Greek. Greece. <laughs> Why not? Solar system, numbers. Oh, this must be the password. Four, five, three, six. Okay. Four, five, three, six. Okay. This must be the hideout of some sorts. If you are hearing this, you you are Emmanuel Papa's daughter. My name is Oliver Crawford. I am the one responsible for your father's disappearance. Because I am the one who sent him up there. To this moon. The moon of secrets. Phobos. You see, back in the 90s, when I was a young man, a probe also disappeared on this moon. He had sent back some pictures of a monolithic structure and a huge unidentified glow. I was in the space agency control room back then. Everyone who knew about this are gone. And now, the same thing happened. It is no coincidence. I arranged for your escape, but I cannot show myself to them. I am dead. More will be clear soon. In this room there is a tape. A transmission your father sent me. You must find a house with a generator and a TV and play it. It also includes guidelines of how and where to reach me. Be very careful. The slums are a dangerous place. Do not be afraid. This? Okay. I'm gonna find that house. Some intellectual hideout here. I see. Well, back to the field. I see trouble. Now look at him. Come on, woohoo! And him. Where's your head? Nice. If only I had the scope. Or... I mean pistol with scope or sniper rifle. 
That will be dope. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> what the? Who shot me? Show yourself. You shot me, I shot you. Simple rule. Any questions? <laughs> Look at this animation. Die, bitch. Die, you motherfucker. Nice. Okay. So much dead people. Not a best code. I'm sure I'm gonna have to go there, but for now... Can I kill you? No. Come out! Really? <laughs> I can't shoot through this fence? I'll come back later. Who are the hyenas? That's the name of the gang here, right? Poor souls. Can I go can go to here? Ammo? No. Oh what the? <sighs> Calm down. What? In the year 2027 AD. The newly forged Eastern Alliance challenged the well-established Western economies and way of life. This unavoidably led to war. After a few months, the condition of the planet worsened. The sea level rose and whole islands sank in the oceans. Coastal cities disappeared. Due to this, the use of nuclear weapons ceased. The damage, though, was already irreversible. In the borderline countries between East and West, huge metallic and carbon fiber walls were constructed. This way, the organized cities were protected from the enemy invaders, but also from famine, radioactivity, and the rising water.
The capital of Greece, Athens, was one of those cities, but not everybody would fit within those walls. Only the prosperous few, the selected few. The rest were left outside, exposed to the wrath of nature, roaming a wretched place of poverty, crime, and worse, they were known as subhumans. So that's the backstory. Okay. Let's keep moving. Oh, new password. Cool. Wait, do I have a an inventory? No, I don't. Maybe it will be in the final game. Oh! So many dead people here. Yeah, the flashlight doesn't go exactly in front of me. You know, where is the crosshair? But down there. Yeah, strange. Anyway, there's nothing here to collect or anything, so let's keep moving. Nice music, by the way. Can I go down there? Okay. What the? What the? Ooh! No, thank you. New message? This is a horrific place. The end of civilization. They call us subhumans. The outsiders. It is clear that they have left us here to die from radiation or starvation. Was it always the plan of the ruling classes to eliminate overpopulation so the remaining few can prosper, along with the planet? There's a house with a generator in the neighborhood, number 13. If only I can make it there, if only I can have one glimpse of civilization, it's a start. I will take it from there, one step at a time. That's the house I'm looking for. Oh, I'm gonna take it. Cannibals. Yeah, I figured out that too. What? You have no dialogue? I mean, you have a dialogue, but you don't have a voiceover. So you, I call this Athens, not, not Athena or, yeah, Athens, okay. 
My mistake. Number 15? What is going on in here? What the? Oh! My not here, not here. Who's shooting me? Oh, it's you! Die, you bitch! There we go. Give me the ammo. Number 13 How do I get inside? Here? Oh, I have to go to here. Yeah, yeah, come over here. Okay. Generator. Okay. This is the right place. Whoa! Where are you? something weird about this spot. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. This was Boba Subhuman. Well, this really looks interesting to me. In the, even though it has a few problems. I mean, the texture, the frame rate, the voiceover, or rather the lack of it sometimes. Uh, execution, uh, animations, and so on. But even with all of that, I still find this game interesting to play and I really want to see the final version of this game. I saw the screenshots and they really look promising. Let's hope the final version really delivers. So anyway, thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share. 
and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, be the very best version of yourself.